Hello everyone, welcome to this detailed exploration of Sophocles Oedipus the King, one of the most celebrated tragedies in Greek literature. Sophocles is considered one of the Greek tragedians of ancient Greece and Oedipus the King is one of his most iconic plays. This timeless tragedy dives into the complex story of Oedipus, a noble king who struggles with prophecy, destiny and uncovering painful truths about his past. First, let's see the short biography of Sophocles. Sophocles was a famous Greek tragedian who lived between 496 BCE and 406 BCE. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest playwrights in history. He wrote over 120 plays but only 7 have survived. Among these, the most well known are the Theban plays which include Oedipus Rex that is none other than Oedipus the King, Oedipus at Colonus and Antigone. He is the one who introduced significant innovations in Greek drama such as the third actor. He frequently participated in the prestigious Dionysian festival where he won more than 20 competition demonstrating his exceptional talent in playwriting and performance. The Theban plays explore themes like fate, prophecy and human suffering focusing on the tragic story of Oedipus and his family. Sophocles was a contemporary of other renowned tragedians like Euripides and Aeschylus and together they shaped the golden age of Greek drama. Now let's take a closer look at the key characters in Oedipus the King. Oedipus who is a protagonist and the king of Thebes. He is married to Jocasta who is also his mother. Jocasta, she is the queen of Thebes and wife of Oedipus. She was previously married to Laius, Oedipus's biological father. Laius is a former king of Thebes, Oedipus's biological father. Creon, brother of Jocasta and brother-in-law to Oedipus. He later assumes leadership as the ruler of Thebes. The next character, Tiresias, is a blind prophet who plays a key role in revealing the truth about Oedipus' action and his origins. The next character, Shepherd, he is a servant who saved baby Oedipus and is an important witness for his tragic past. The next one, the messenger from Corinth, is the one who brings news of Oedipus' adoption and the death of Polybus, Oedipus' adoptive father. Next two characters, Polybus and Merope, the king and queen of Corinth, raised Oedipus as their own child without knowing his true origins. The last one, the Sphinx, is a mythical creature with the body of a lion, wings of a bird and the face of a woman. She terrorized Thebes by asking travelers a riddle and anyone who failed to solve it was killed. Oedipus famously solved the Sphinx riddle leading to his marriage to Jocasta and his eventual kingship in Thebes. Let's see the summary of it. The story of Oedipus the king begins in Thebes, a city plagued by a terrible curse. The people are desperate for relief and turn to their king Oedipus for help. They remind him of his past victory over the Sphinx, where he solved its riddle and saved the city. To address the crisis, Oedipus sent his brother-in-law Creon to the oracle at Delphi. Creon returns with the prophecy that the plague will end only when the murder of King Laius, the former ruler of Thebes, is found and punished. Determined to save Thebes, Oedipus promises to uncover the killer and bring justice 
unknowingly cursing himself in the process to find the truth oedipus summons tyrosius the blind prophet at first tyrosius is reluctant to speak warning that the truth will bring nothing but pain however when pressed tyrosius declares that oedipus himself is the murderer of laius outraged oedipus accuses tyrosius of plotting against him with creon his pride blinds him to the possibility of his own guilt jocasta oedipus's wife tries to calm the situation tries to calm him down she dismisses prophecies as unreliable and she mentions that laius was killed at the crossroad this detail doubts and troubles oedipus as it reminds him of an incident from his own past sparking a sense of dread the turning point comes when a messenger from corinth arrives bringing news that polybus the man oedipus believes to be his father has died of natural causes at first oedipus feels relieved thinking that he has escaped the prophecy that he would kill his father but later the messenger reveals that polybus was not oedipus's biological father a shepherd is put forward and the full truth comes to light oedipus is the son of laius and jocasta this means that oedipus has unknowingly killed his father and married his mother fulfilling the very prophecy he tried so hard to avoid jocasta devastated by the truth retreats to her chambers in despair overwhelmed by shame and grief jocasta takes her own life by hanging herself oedipus discovering her body is consumed with guilt and blinds himself by using a brooch from her dress his act of self punishment is both physical and symbolic as he gains true insight into his identity and fate through blindness accepting his guilt oedipus begs to be exiled from thebes to fulfill the terms of the curse creon who takes control as a ruler of thebes and agrees to oedipus's exile oedipus leaves thebes as a broken man reflecting on the inescapable nature of fate and the consequences of his actions Before the events of the play Thebes was terrorized by the Sphinx a mythical creature that posed a deadly riddle to all who approached Oedipus's intelligence allowed him to solve the riddle saving the city and earning the throne of Thebes as well as Jocasta's hand in marriage Next we are going to see the themes the struggle between fate and free will as oedipus's efforts to avoid his destiny only lead him closer to it hubris or excessive pride which drives oedipus to pursue the truth despite warnings the contrast between blindness and insight as oedipus begins the story blind to the truth but gains understanding through suffering 
and finally the inevitability of human suffering as fate and actions combine to bring tragedy on the whole oedipus the king is a powerful reflection on morality destiny and the human condition cementing its place as one of the greatest works in greek literature thank you for watching